Go. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I would say I that think is this is gonna be a damn good score. I don't know about you, but like, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. We're pretty damn they're impressive. scoring it as we speak. Plastic. Plastic and rubber. For in the rear, you're at 23 inches. In the front, you're at 26, 26 inches. So what we do is we take and we add those together. 23, 26, 49, multiply it by two. Times it by 10. 980. 980, Kevin. 980? 980. Holy cow. That's without the fence. Good usable fence. Oh man, Woo, that's dope. Okay, so it is officially day one of the winter 4x4 Jamboree. And how do you know that it's gonna be an interesting day on the trail? Because it's raining. <laughs> we actually left Jelly at home. She's in a puppy play day all day long. That way we don't have to worry about her getting muddy and filthy and in and out of the Jeep or being cooped up in the Jeep all day. But today we are doing the trail known as Plan B. We've never done it before. Actually, the only two trails at Sand Hollow that we've ever done are Milt's Mile and Double Sammy, which you guys might remember from way back when. But we're in the lineup. We've got Michael behind us. And it looks like today's gonna be a great day. Oh, and there's Kevin. I'm here. <laughs> Michael gave me some beard oil. So, I don't know, do I look any more, what, how would I look with beard oil? Sophisticated, Sophisticated refined, refined, suave, sexy. Anyway, it's coming in kind of nice. I've never had a beard before, first time. This is the first time he has facial hair, ever. I, I look like I'm still half asleep. Look at my- You do look, I you look, look like tired. I'm, yeah, I look tired at AF. This is called Top of the World, which normally has a phenomenal view, but it's rainy and the weather is, uh, it's all right. So right now it's just a little bit drizzly. It's not that too bad. It's not that too bad. It's not that too bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just a little bit drizzly right now, but supposedly there's a storm heading our way and everywhere that it has passed so far. It's supposed to drop a piece length of rain, six inches. Everyone has gotten six inches of rain on this storm so far, so it is supposed to start raining cats and dogs in a little bit, which is gonna be very interesting, not just for the trail and for obstacles, but also for me attempting to film it. So, we're gonna see how this goes. Go driver, keep going, keep going, don't stop. Good job, keep going, driver, stop, 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 stop. Oh, <laughs> now while the rest of them climb that, I'm gonna take a minute to show off the stepchild's new suspension again. Cause holy crap. That flex though. Full stuff, we're at nine PSI for anyone who is curious. Holy crap. That droop in the rear. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> oh man. That is so gnarly. Whoa, 
Uh, your front locker wasn't gauges. Do you have one? Not in that hole. See this? <laughs> Don't hit this. <laughs> <laughs> A, that was awesome, and B, this is another reason having a battle buddy is so amazing because Kevin and I didn't think to bring an umbrella, but Michael did, which is super, super helpful in filming in the rain. said not to try that climb because it's a buggy line and not something to mess around on. But lucky for us, buggy line is our middle name. <laughs> is it? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. We're actually going to we're going to pull up and we're going to see if we can even Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Well, so we try to be responsible. We tried. And, uh, we try to be responsible and run a spare tire in case something <laughs> happens out here, we can put it on and then being responsible sucks. <laughs> let's make Michael be responsible. I don't care if we... Let's put, yeah, let's we'll put this put, stuff on we'll Michael's. Let's just make Michael carry a yeah. spare. We're both running the same tire size and wheel size. Yeah, we'll just make Michael carry the spare <laughs> so I can continue to do dope stuff. I don't mind dragging the tow hitch along the ground, but obviously when you've got... Yeah. Dang it. Dang what it. What can you do? 42s might take care of that because it lifts you up higher off the ground. Yeah, but then you have a 40. What are you gonna? How you can't carry a 42 inch spare? There's no, no you way. just don't run a spare at that point. You just roll the dice. You just roll the dice. Yeah, you just roll the dice. Why are we even talking about 42s? That's not even a thing. <laughs> what? I got her thinking we about it though. <laughs> I got her thinking about to it. 42s. Just skip I did the 40s. get her thinking about it. Give me that. I get you. You thought about it. You for a act second. as if you're not gonna get the 40s anyways. Eventually, probably sooner rather than later. We're getting the 40s for sure. <sighs> the downside is. So our marriage, typically, typically when two people, normal people are married, you have the wife that is like... Or the husband. Responsible. Or, one, or the husband. Usually, usually one, one is responsible. responsible. Like, no, honey, don't buy that. It's too expensive. Or you don't need that. Or no. Like, just you have a firm no somewhere in there when someone comes up with a stupid idea. We don't it's have not, that. It's not like that with us. Kevin's like, oh, the 38s look oh, so tiny on the Jeep now. And oh, with the, you know, now we have these new six-pack awesome shocks. And <laughs> we need 40s now. And I'm like, mm, Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, let me... Let me Did you record me. that? I already have it. My... Okay, for the record, I have agreed to 40s, but I want to wheel with our current setup because we've done so much to it. I want to do a couple of trails wheeling it as is. It's actually pretty good right it's now. It's so solid. I'm just afraid that knocking up to 40s will kind of tip that scale from super awesome on and off-road to okay on-road and super awesome off-road. Anyway, all right, guys, we're going to hit the trail a little bit more. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not a thing. You made it pretty far. Yeah. Just not quite enough power to to keep going. That view though. Oh my god. Have been bad. That could have been real bad. So we were going like this up and over. Oh god, oh. a sand dune. Michael went up underneath us. So as we came around, we saw him. So Kevin came to a stop to make sure we didn't crash into Michael. So that could have been that could have been much worse. Downside yeah. is on top of that, Kevin, right as he went to go back down the hill, had his window down and it kicked about three pounds of sand up into our Jeep. But better to have sand in our Jeep than to have a Michael than to have a squished <laughs> Michael and a squished Kevin and Brittany so uh, we'll have to definitely do some vacuuming after this but that's a good moment to remind everyone to always stay very hyper aware of your surroundings when you're doing crazy crap definitely like we're always doing yeah basically <laughs> oh, oh. Six-pack shocks. Take two. Yeah, we'll fill that in so nobody yeah, yeah, hits it on a four We don't want an unsuspecting dirt bike or anyone really to get that. Let's fill it in. Fill it in. So Michael found barbed wire. Some nasty barbed wire that's just like sitting 
in the sand. It's a little bit too hard to pull, but we're gonna we're gonna wrap around the D-ring on the Jeep and see if we can pull it out so no one pops their tire on this random piece of barbed wire just chilling here. All right, go nice and slow. Yeah, go slow, Kev. Just go straight to the dune in front of you. It's like tremors. I know, I feel like <laughs> tremors right now. <laughs> Look at it all. Dude, it is. There's, holy crap, oh, watch it, watch it, stop, stop, stop. Oh Found my god, end. good lord. Just yeah. like a giant yeah. piece of barbed wire. That what? would have sucked. What was that doing out there? I don't there? know, but we did donuts over it. <laughs> That's another piece right there too, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. What the heck? There's just another big old piece right here. It's like all over the place. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's more. God, look, there's so much. Oh, look at it. Or we just make the Jeep do it. Don't film yet. You don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to all go get tetanus shots after this. So much barbed wire. Okay. All right, nice and easy, Kev. Slow. I know, look back up. There you go. There's one more piece. <laughs> Freaking trimmers! Trimmers! trimmers. Run! <laughs>tricky part with sand hollows though although they do have designated trails it's kind of you go anywhere you want to go uh, oh, so there are trails that yeah that you over. literally can create your own trails for the most part and there's crisscrossing there's just tracks everywhere so it's very easy to get lost we know we're going in the right general direction yeah the good thing is you can see and all yeah. you gotta do is go downhill yeah it, go there. downhill and you know head towards the lake but anyways yeah we're i mean we're not lost we're just we don't know exactly where we are, is it? Right? Yeah. Yeah. See, look, there's the road. Told you we'd make it. Yeah, no, I, I, I knew we had. So all in all, I would say that that was a fan-freaking-tastic day. Michael brought an umbrella. I was uh, able to film in the rain. Yeah. The Jeep did everything. Everything, all the, all the flex. Okay, these six-pack shocks, I'm, damn. <laughs> okay, I'm sure the arms help too, but the, Going the shocks. over, whoops, go, oh my god, these shocks are, I've never had coilovers, and I, honestly, I don't think I ever need them. Not with these shocks, at least. No. They're an on-road at speed, they're actually really comfortable as well. They're not quite as soft as the Rock Sports were, but... I will say for that, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely, uh, they're, they're a little stiffer than the Rock Sports were, but they're still comfortable enough that I can edit in the passenger seat on my laptop while we're driving. The Rock Sports were like Cadillac with Air Ride. It felt great. I loved it. Hitting whoops, hitting stuff high speed, it wouldn't handle it. Six packs, we'll do at speed, whoops, washboard, sand dunes, and rock crawling. Everything we did you, today. Yes, yeah. it gives you everything that you oh, need. Oh, and so much droop. It was amazing. So, good day. We also almost wrecked into Michael. Luckily, we did not. We did get about two or three pounds of sand in our Jeep, so we got to go. We got to go clean that out. But, yeah. So it was a pretty successful day. Didn't I tell you this morning at the beginning of the video that this was going to be interesting? It was, oh, there you it go. It was interesting. So we're going to head over to the fairgrounds, go see all the vendors, go see all our friends and peeps. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. Uh, Bye. Later, guys. Not my pregnation. Order your hoodies. Mm. Order your shirts. So, so somehow girls in Utah have never seen dogs before. We're, we're, we're in and out, if you couldn't oh, tell. Jelly bean. And Jelly's just getting uh, all the attention. Oh my word.
Hope y'all don't mind. You're gonna be on YouTube. We have a, we have a, we have a